I think the beauty of Pinotage is definitely the thick skin. And all the good stuff is within the skin. That's where all the good stuff is really concentrated. So having this beautiful thick skin, thick cuticula, uh, where all the, your, your tannins and your color and all of those components are captured, uh, it's always a benefit in terms of wine quality. When you taste the wine, it really has a, an amazing, amazing tannin structure. So the tannin structure is so inherent, you know, it's in its DNA. It's a niche product, it's small scale, it's selection, all of these things. Uh, it's, it's a wine that, that needs to be cellared up. It's a wine that you want to be able to age. Talking about aging ability, if you take Pinotage compared to some of the other royal varietals, I always say that's the only way that a variety can show royalty is if it can age. In terms of its perfume, it reminds me of the great Saint Joseph. In terms of its crunchy, juicy chewiness, it reminds me of a great Malbec, Argentinian Malbec. It's like an elephant, it can age forever. It really reminds me of a, of a, of a top-end Nebbiolo. The wine is quite full-bodied. Yes, there's a lot of tannin, but it's super refined. It's smooth, it's gentle, it's elegant, uh, it's sophisticated, and this is exactly what we want. Uh, with a high-end pinotage, especially for the connoisseur out there.